signatures and major scales. So first of all, uh, let's look at a C major scale. These are our tone bars and each note represents a tone and the half steps, they go up by half steps. But if we look at our major scale, we'll see the pattern. We go from, I'll play it for you. So that's our major C scale and it goes whole step, whole step, so whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So that's a major scale. So if we want to write that, here's the notation for, well let's double check here and look. These are all no sharps or flats, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. The names of our notes are up there. And so if we write that on a bass clef, it looks like this. Um, this is a bass or F clef. This represents F. Here's our C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. That's the middle C there. And when we, if we need to put notes that go beyond our staff, we just add another line. That's called a ledger line. So there's our key of C major. So let, let, now let's move our chart here and do the key of D major. So instead of starting Do on C, I'm going to start it on D. I'm going to go way down here to get D. And this time we're going to have this time we're going to have some sharps in our song, in our in our our scale. So now we can see, I think, let me turn this a little bit so you can see down here. Okay, so here's the tonic, which is Do. So you can see here's our, our whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. That's our major D scale. And so let's look at what notes we have. We have D, Re is E, Mi is F sharp, Fa is G, So is A, La is B, T is C sharp, and Do is D. So we're using the sharp notes here. Remember um, we talked about that the black notes have two names. They can either be called an F sharp or this could also be called a G flat. But in the key of D, the key of D has two sharps. So let's look at what the key signature looks like. Make sure you can see that. Here's our key of D major. And so the notes are D, E, F sharp, G. Let me put an F sharp in there for you. F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp and D. So the key signature is right here at the beginning. It has two sharps. So this is an F sharp and this is a C sharp. Even though this F is on this space, it's the same note. It's still an F. So what we can do is since we have those notes in our key signature, the F sharp and the C sharp, we don't have to write it on the, um, in, the part, in the music. It's in the key signature. Okay, let's do one more. This one's going to be F major. I'm going to move my chart. Oops. <laughs> my system is not working too well. Okay, so we're going to do F major. So Do is going to be F. Do right there on F. Okay. So now we've got Do. We've got F. Whole step to G. Whole step to A, a half step to B flat, a whole step to C, a whole step to La, a whole step to T, and a half step from T to Do. So the only black note we have is on Fa, and that's our B flat. Whoops, sorry. So the notes we need, again, are F, G, A, 
B flat, C, D, E, and F. We'll do this one in the treble or G clef. Let's make sure you can see that. I think so. And so here's our G. This line is G on the treble clef. So here's F, G, A, and B flat. So if we didn't have our key signature, we'd have to put a flat before the B. B, C, D, E, F. But since we have the B in our key signature, we don't have to have it there. So that's our a little review of key signatures.